Now in this tutorial I'm going to take a moment to talk about the basic hover positions. Um, the first of which is facing up, then we'll cover facing right and facing left. Um, after that we'll go ahead and focus on the, the diagonal facing upper left, upper right, lower right, lower left. Um, the basic principle that goes into all hovers is that in order to maintain altitude, you're essentially pulling on the uppermost edge of the kite enough to create lift and hold that position. If you don't pull the leading edge enough, depending on the wind, it will drop. If you pull it too much, then it'll rise. And I'll show exactly how that works with the different orientations. So in this case, we'll start with the upright hover. We'll go ahead and launch. And with the kite in the air, essentially what I'm doing is I'm tensioning my top lines enough to, to create that lift that I need. Um, the wind is just a little bit fluctuating right now, so you'll notice that sometimes I sort of stroke or I pull back all four lines. That's just to fill the sail again. Um, that's a little technique you can use in variable conditions. But the key again is that I'm pulling the leading edge in towards me slightly just to create that lift. Now if I had to switch to a right-facing hover like this, you'll notice that my hands have transitioned as well. So my left hand is pulled back towards my body near my hip and my other hand is forward a little bit. And the, the key principle here is that I'm pulling my left hand back and also pulling the uppermost wing, the left wing, towards me. So if I switch and face the right side, uh, the left side rather, you'll see now I've switched my hand so that I'm pulling my right hand, my right wing back. And once again, switch into the right side, pulling my left hand back. Um, now the key in any of those hover positions is to isolate the, the basic components. One is that you're balancing between reverse and forward. So as you're practicing hover, you can actually do that. You can oscillate very casually and slowly between forward and reverse until you start to isolate where that middle point is so that you can actually control the speed and hold position. Now within that, we're also adjusting the trim of the kite. So in this case, with the kite facing sideways, um, I can use my top hand right here. You can see that wing flapping. That adjusts my trim. And then I have the bottom hand down here. So that adjusts. Um, and then really as you become more accomplished at the hover, what you'll be doing is using a combination of those two hands to actually maintain your orientation. That applies whether you're upright, facing left, or facing right. Um, so again, the, the principles are controlling your trim, controlling your forward and reverse, and pulling the uppermost edge of the kite towards you. Um, now in regard to the sideways hover, um, because to rise or lower the kite, it's not a matter of forward or reverse, it's a matter of sliding. So just to illustrate that, if I relax my top hand out now, the kite will slide down a little bit. If I pull that top hand too much, the kite will rise. And again, during all of that, I'm using my turning controls to keep the trim and the adjustment. Now, to expand on those basic hover positions, what we're going to do is we're going to introduce the diagonal angles. So in this case, I'm facing upper right corner. Um, I'm not only pulling on my left wing, which is the highest, but I'm also casually tensioning both leading edge lines because all three of those lines now represent the highest part of the kite. So as I switch to face the upper left, you'll see now I have my, le uh, my right hand pulled in towards my body a little bit and I'm still teasing those top lines in order to maintain that lift. Now if I take that to the other diagonal, which is facing slightly down, and I, I generally recommend you start by practicing that sideways and then make it just a little bit crooked like this. Um, here I'm pulling my right hand back, once again being my highest wing, but I'm also teasing my brake lines because now my back lines in combination with my right wing are the highest part of the kite. So rotating position one more time to face the lower right corner. I'm now teasing the back lines again, but this time I have my left hand, my highest wing, my left wing pulled in towards my body. So what we've introduced there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven basic positions. Um, in another tutorial, we'll be sure to cover the inverted hover, but um, those seven uh, hover positions are absolutely critical for getting firm control of your kite. And, um, and I recommend you practice them at, at um, various positions throughout the window um, to see how the, the angle of the wind affects the, the degree of lift that you're getting and how much, or, uh, how much more or less you need to compensate your controls to, to accommodate that position in the window. So um, I think that more or less is your basic introduction to basic hovers.